I want to share an article from IndieWire with you that supports what I've been saying, um, what I've been trying to convince some Disney fans of, and that is that monopolies such as Disney is, is actually bad for movies, is bad for cinema, and while you may not see the body yet, that doesn't mean that um, other movies are not dying. But before I get to that, I want to just go through a couple things um, through the through my Twitter thread, some some things about the Blu-ray and some other things that I haven't really shared on the on YouTube much. So the Blu-ray um, right now it looks to be coming out around the 25th of June. Um, I was hoping that maybe that was just a temporary thing or just a placeholder date, but it looks like that may be the actual date. And so that puts that puts the Alita movie actually behind is possibly behind even Captain Marvel's movie, which is extremely late. How to Train Your Dragon and um, the Lego movie, which were movies that came out around in the same month as Alita will be out in May. So uh, the, 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 the delay could be due to the Fox Disney merger. Uh, maybe just people just having to be moved around and things like that. That could just that could be it. It could be as simple as that. Um, of course, I also believe that it's a matter of Cameron having the the rights to Alita, but um, not not Fox holding the rights, but you know having to do some sort of renegotiations with all of that. And because if it was me, if it was my movie, and another company had merged or bought out or whatever the company that I was doing business with I would be like okay we need to sit down at the table and hash some things out because I'm not just going to just let you have this you know and I'm talking about the distribution right not the not the actual rights to the property the distribution rights to the first movie so Disney will likely get the or what's left of Fox within Disney will likely be getting the the, their their sign or their symbol or whatever you want to call it their logo on the DVD release but moving on past that um, also want to share I'm going to skip down you know what this is a person that doesn't get a lot of recognition this is um, Leda Elizabeth Keller Greedis the screenwriter on uh, the co-screenwriter on the Elite Battle Angel, the first movie, of course. And hopefully, I kind of hope that she gets to come back for the second movie because I can't give Cameron all the credit. If, if her name is on the, the credits, then hopefully they bring the whole team back and this person gets another uh, opportunity to work with Alita again. And Because we don't know how much of what came from the first script was from her or from Cameron and who else, you know? So let's just bring the whole team back. All right, so in China, this was the last week for a leader in China. And as I can't say this, Chuck Orange Eglita points out, they had um, a nice little showing there for people showing up to, to send a leader off. And I'm just going to scroll down to the other things that I want to share. Like... Uh, there's more pictures of the showing, the final showings in uh, China, and so about this um, Forbes article here. Scott Mendelson has been saying for a few weeks now that Elita has made 405 million dollars, and at the time, the Elita was around 403 and a half million, and I I was speculating that that Alita had to be in reality above 404 million, probably like at 404 and 500,000, somewhere around there in order for him to be able to round up like that. And so he's, this is like the third time earlier this week. This is like the third time he's done that. I think this is actually an older, an older example, but the fact that he keeps doing that makes me think that Alita really is over, 404,000 probably almost at maybe at or above um not above 405 million but somewhere around there where he can either round up or round down to 405 million dollars moving on here we got well 
a meme I made because it's pretty much true. This is <laughs> this is what we do. It seems that every time there's a thread or a poll or um, some kind of ranking out there, we end up storming the thread. And I think this is this is another reason why people have been lashing out recently against the Alita fans because we're be, we've been making noise. So you can't help it. The movie wasn't supposed to do good. The movie was supposed to just die and go away. And the fan base is growing. We're being heard and... And I think people are getting a little territorial. They don't want this character to sort of take away some of the, the 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 dominance of the MCU and things like that. This is a nice little meme. Um, Gen X reviews post. No, Gen X Strikes Back posted it, but he didn't really know who to credit it to. And yeah, this is what we all dream of: the announcement of the the trilogy, <laughs> not just not just the sequel, but the trilogy. That's what we want. And in a conversation, I wish I had the link to it because I need to actually go to that conversation to point something out, but I can't. I don't have the link. Um, we did get one person this week to go see the movie, and he tried it, and he said it was good. He didn't sound like he was over the moon for the movie, but he said it was a good movie. <laughs> All right, I'll show this one. Uh, for those who don't know, but this is a reference to this is the leader of the Heaven's Gate cult. Well, obviously, Alita's head is on his body. But this picture was of the leader of the Heaven's Gate cult. And since we have been very cult-like recently, I thought, well, you know what? This might be in bad taste, but I'm going to go ahead and make this picture. So scrolling down, I'm going to go to... I think uh, just I should just skip. Yeah, we're pretty much. Um, all right, all right, okay, here's an, another important thing. I think this is pretty much the last thing. Oh yeah, one more thing actually after this. So, since we've been been getting recognized, especially wait before I get to that, let me just skip to the last thing because ah, uh, I know I put it in here, but it ties in. It ties in, and it, and it is that Robert Rodriguez had retweeted a, like he didn't retweet it. I think he, he commented on um, somebody, it was Hunter Warrior, I can't remember the rest of his name, actually pointing out that an Alita fan in China has seen the movie 119 times. And the director, Robert Rodriguez, commented saying that that's dedication and that um he said he said thanks for supporting amigo so that was actually really important because um sometimes you feel like the directors and the the producers and whatnot are unreachable but i've always suspected that they might be seeing our posts but they just don't actually say anything and so that was confirmation that that they can actually see our uh, posts so the, uh, the leader army has officially been acknowledged by at least robert rodriguez so i'm pretty sure our cries for the sequel are being heard and they're just they're quiet about it and I, I, that's probably a good thing the, the the longer they go being quiet about it i think the odds that we are going to get the sequel are better um, at least maybe i'm just being too optimistic but that's what i think and i know i have his his tweet I, i'm I don't know why it's not showing up here. I know I have it. Oh, here it is. It just didn't load. So here was the actual response from Robert Rodriguez. He just saw this today from a huge Alita fan. That's what I call dedication. Thanks for supporting Amigo. All right. So the Alita Army has been acknowledged. All right. And we're almost at that that post from... Um, uh, indie wire that I want to talk about but back to this again since we're making noise we're being recognized you have to understand that there are going to be people who don't like that so we have here a person who actually I guess you would say this was the invitation to to a debate plain and simple but they never actually really had any attention on debating so 
this just comes across as a as an attempt to get people to respond and when they respond to to flame them and when they get and when you get angry when you get upset then you appear to be the hostile toxic fan base that they're trying to make you out to be and so we had Alita Queen here respond to this person with a reasonable response. It wasn't, it wasn't um, offensive, if you ask me. It was just, it was a decent response. And he said, Alita has a character arc for, for a start. Also more likable with better filmed action. Alita is vulnerable, which makes her more approachable. Carol is a Mary Sue. All right, that's an actual argument. That's not even that's not even an attack. It's an argument. So how does this person respond? Go back home, Bickle Troll. Your village is missing their idiot. Stop pretending you know anything about film. So that was their response to their invitation, uh, to a response to their invitation to debate. So it became clear to me. Wait, after this, let's read this one first. So the next thing someone says is, I hate that the Alita fan base has the worst anti-Marvel people. From what I heard, they're both good films, so I guess they haven't seen Alita. And uh, in their own right, for different reasons. There's no need for the two to be pitted against each other. Like It's like Shazam being pitted against Marvel. No one wanted that. This That stuff is going to happen. That's just movies, you know. People are going to draw comparisons. Um, even there's so this person says again. Came the dawn says, even their supposed icons, actors, and filmmakers who make these the make the films they supposedly defend call these internet slugs out. They are isolated. The industry has rejected them, and are right as hell to do so. They, all right. So that's the narrative that they already have about you before you even respond. So nothing that you say is going to change their opinion because they're not interested in facts. I'm trying to make this bigger. It's not getting bigger. All right. I said, you're both misinformed. I don't think either one of you has seen Alita Battle Angel or followed the movie from its debut. Now, the one person said that they saw Alita Battle Angel, um, that come the, came the dawn person, but I don't believe they've been following this movie from the start, else they would know the kind of treatment that this movie got and how it got shafted. It got attacked by the critics nonstop and Captain Marvel didn't get attacked and this movie was taken down so that Captain Marvel could succeed and there's proof that there's actual audio of these people saying that the media will lie and will um, to try to keep their access to Disney and, and things like that by being dishonest with their reviews in favor of bad movies and sometimes giving bad um um, cr critiques to good movies it's just all about ma maintaining their access and Disney has so much power that they can they, that they can lord it over these critics and over the movie um, uh, access media and um, the journalists and whatever else they have that much power too much power and that's I don't know how anybody cannot see that so simulated Yoshi or Yosh responds tell people tells people to debate you Cause the person with a different opinion a troll and that they don't know anything about film. Yeah, good try defending Captain Marvel, buddy. That wasn't really their intent anyway. They wasn't they were not there to defend Captain Marvel. They were there to inflame and get you to appear to prove them right. So I posted this in this thread, and this was sort of a PSA I put out. I said, don't get baited by Captain Marvel trolls. This movie and many of its fans thrive on playing the victim. Their intent is to make you appear to be a troll who hates Captain Marvel because she's a strong woman. I put that in quotes because, you know, in their opinion, she's a strong woman. And that's the only reason anybody could possibly hate her, according to them. So don't take the bait. I said, also, we know how great Alita Battle Angel is. The fact that people are starting to take shots at the Alita Army now means we've finally been recognized. Alita didn't flop and be forgotten as many of the media and critics wanted. No, the movie grew a fan base and is gaining strength. The more popular Alita Battle Angel gets, the more we can expect her and the fans to be attacked. Let's try to avoid taking the bait from now on. I will still confront lies when I see them being told, but I won't take their bait and give them a reason to play the victim card. 
which is all they want to do. And I think this pretty much sums it up. Um, haters gonna hate. That's what they do. And so we just have to have that attitude and just let it ride. If it don't fly, no, if it doesn't apply, let it fly, right? If it doesn't apply, let it fly. We're just gonna have to be that way because um, we're in the crosshairs now. This is a great video by um, AV Club. Did I post a link to that? I hope I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, good. Uh, and it, Rosa Salazar. I'll just read what I wrote here. Last night, star of Alita Battle Angel, Rosa Salazar shows once again why she is the perfect actress to play the, the character of Alita. She hopes that Alita is not only inspiring to young Latin girls, but to, but to people, to all people who see the movie. And so um, in this interview, Rosa once again explains how she was able to relate to a movie that had that starred four white male boys, you know, white boys, and how color and sex and gender shouldn't be barriers to people being able to relate to a character or to be inspired by them. And she hopes that Alita will similarly be an insp inspiration for other people who see the movie. So the last thing here. We're going to deal with is this IndieWire article. So we can. Oh, it's titled Avengers Endgame will will break box office records and that's bad for business. I don't want to go over the whole thing. You can read it. I'll post a link uh, so you can read this. So is Marvel on Team Avengers or Team Thanos? The question verges on apostasy, but it has to be asked when faced with the projected opening for Avengers Endgame. Not only is it expected to beat the $257 million, million, yeah, million dollar adjusted for opening for Star Wars The Force Awakens 2015, but domestic projection, projections are staggering, are a staggering $300 million or higher as some theaters run around the clock shows. However, it doesn't prove that exhibitors are no longer under siege. It's more like a tsunami that washes away enemy troops and most of the city along with it. So they go into why. And, um, but I am really just, just going to skip down to where Elita Battle Angel is concerned. And I'm glad that this person who wrote this actually pointed this out because there are people who would like to make many excuses about why Alita has so much trouble and they would like to blame the movie but what they don't do is point out the elephant in the room which is the culture that Disney and the MCU has created that does not give these other franchises that want to get their their feet off their um, their feet planted to get um, a, a good running start they just don't have the room to do it and so this is what really hurt Alita, and this is what I've been trying to explain to people. And it's nice to have IndieWire actually specifically point out Alita as a case where this has been true. So, Avengers success comes at a cost for theaters. Presuming it's a record smashing hit, Endgame will accelerate several trends that hurt theaters. These include higher film rentals, studio and theater chains have individual deals, but bigger grossing films mean studios receive a higher return on the gross. That means 15 films that gross films that gross 50 million each will make more money for theaters than one that grosses 750 million. And of course, when a handful of films become essential, a distributor can demand even more. Disney can demand the more power they get over these theaters because the other movies are failing. And, and when it gets to the point where Disney is keeping these theaters alive, Disney will have even more power and influence over these theaters. And make it even harder for movies like Alita to, to, to gain ground. So greater dependence on pre-sold event films. This reinforces the dangerous and increasingly common audience instinct to stay with the familiar. It also makes efforts in related genres vulnerable. How can they compete? We've seen this repeatedly in, in recent months. With disappointing or worse performances for Alita Battle Angel, Mortal Engines, and Hellboy. Now, I've heard that Hellboy is just not a great film, but when you look at Alita, 94% audience rating. Um, it, it's crazy. That's a good movie, any way you slice it. 
But of course, the critics who were in Disney's pocket, who were influenced by Disney, gave it a 59% for most of the time that it was in theaters and really um, kept that little rotten tomato mark next to its name and discouraged people from seeing this movie. Creating a film going monoculture. That's exactly what we have here. People thinking that basically there's only just one movie that they need to see. And it's usually a Marvel or DC, or not DC, but Marvel or Disney movie. By Sunday, nearly 60% of the gross for 2019, 60% will come from films that are sequels, franchises, horror, or based on comic books. Compare that to, to far more varied offerings on broadcast TV, cable, or streaming venues. And out of that 16, 60%, how much of that is going to come from Marvel, from the MCU? And this is what I've been trying to explain to people, and they don't get it because they don't want to get it because they want to protect their precious Disney, their, their Disney loyalty and their Marvel loyalty. But I'm over that now. My eyes have been open because I've seen how it has I've, I've fallen in love with another movie and I have seen how Disney is actually um, um, Disney is actually uh i'm not hostile what's the word is it's just it's bad for movies like this it's bad for any movie that wants to get his feet off the ground so that's all i wanted to share um i post a link so you can read that and if you haven't signed the petition for leader by Langer 2 sign that petition also i'll post a link to ranker.com so you can go and, and vote for alita to um, get her higher up in, in the movie rankings like top action movies or top movies with a female lead and make a make your own little personal ranking if you can and that'll help get the movie up even higher up the list so thanks for listening thanks for watching